A few days ago I made a fairy in Minecraft. Today I'm going to be updating that model using Blockbench and Gecko Lim. First of all, you got to change your theme to something with a little more aesthetic. That ought to do. All right, next we're going to make a new Gecko Lib model. I'm just going to go ahead and name it Fairy Model. Pretty basic. Then I'm just going to take the default cube here, make it a little larger. Add on some pretty basic flat wings. All right, now I have the model made, it's time to texture it. So we'll start with a simple base color. We're gonna go ahead and trim up the texture just to be a little smaller here. And now it's actually time to add Gecko Lib to our project. We do that by modifying our build gradle with a new dependency and a new mod implementation. And it doesn't work. All right, let's check out the Discord, search our error. We'll go ahead and check GitHub as well. And back to Discord, no luck. All right, well, I think I fixed it and another error, great. That's all right though, because after a little bit of tweaking, I managed to get it working. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make a new model class implementing animated geo model. And now we can actually start animating. Here I just set a brief couple of keyframes and then add a little bit of wiggle to our new fairy model. Here I'm adjusting the pivot points for the wings and animating those as well. Once that's done, I export the file and hook it up in my code. All right, so we are here in game and the model works, but unfortunately he's not animating and he's dead. All right. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add the animation controllers, which will be responsible for the wing flutter as well as his little tilts to the side. Here I go ahead and make it so that when he's not moving, he will just bob up and down. Next, I decided to completely remodel the fairies once again to be just a little cuter. Go ahead and use a noise generator to add a little texture to these guys once again. And then I edit the wing to have a little notch cut out of it. Go ahead and update the pivot points, otherwise you get some interesting animations. Now it's time to update the jar model to be animated. Now we go ahead and update the jar block to use the animation system from Gecko Lib. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and add a new block entity for the jar as well. All right, we've got some pretty bad Z fighting, so we're going to go ahead and just load this model back up and fix that texture real quick. And just like that, we are done. Now we have a nice new animated jar and fairy. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, comment, dislike, show a friend, really whatever you do, it all helps. If you want to see more content just like this, please let me know in a comment down below. I will see you all in the next video.